Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're going to be combining e-commerce and SEO. I've done e-commerce for the past probably five to six years. And when I was really doing big numbers in e-commerce, most of my traffic came from Facebook ads or other paid traffic sources. And it's probably the same with you. The problem with that though, is it's not very long term. Generally, as soon as you switch off your traffic, your sales stop coming in. You may have some other organic traffic sources such as email marketing or some social presence where you're pulling traffic from but generally these do not even compare to the amount of traffic that you're probably pulling from ads however there is other ways to get traffic and it's something that i'm fairly new to but I found a store that's doing this in a very interesting way. They're going ahead and they pull pretty much all of the traffic. We'll look at the exact numbers in a second from SEO. Obviously, lately I've started creating blogs and I've started to get some substantial traffic from Google for free and converting that into sales and money on my website. So I wanted to show you this website that is doing this, but they're doing it for e-commerce and they're selling a lot of products through this method. And I think a lot of you guys, especially you guys who are running brands, potentially even for drop shipping, but it's a long-term play. I would mainly focus on this if you're doing a branded e-commerce play, but I wanted to take a look and show you exactly how they're doing it. And they're pulling in hundreds of thousands of visitors monthly for completely free. Now imagine if you were pulling in hundreds of thousands of visitors to your e-commerce store for free, how much larger would your profit margins be? Well, let's go ahead, jump in and take a look at a store that's doing extremely well with that. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And this is the store. It's called Alpha Paw. They sell pet products. They have a couple of different products. They don't sell like hundreds, but if we take a look here, you can see in dog products, they've got some grooming stuff, supplements. The paw ramp seems to be a really big product for them. And essentially it's just a ramp that gets your dog onto the bed. Apparently that's a thing that, you know, dogs hurt their paws when they jump off the bed. I didn't know this and should probably get my dog one of these. Um, but yeah, you can see it here. It's a fairly simple product, but they do really, really well with it. And it's like vet recommended. It's probably a brand that has been started by a vet or, you know, maybe a vet couple or partnership or whatever. But you can see here, that's their main product. That's what's on their homepage. If we jump in and take a look at some of their product pages, for example, let's go into cat products and see what they're doing over here. Again, you've got the scratchy ramp, which is uh, a cat ramp. Again, I definitely don't think cats need a ramp. I think cats could do without a ramp just okay. Uh, and they do all this, you know, litter and stuff. The e-commerce store looks really, really nice. It looks really clean. Uh, if we jump into a product page, you can see here at the cart, they got subscribe and save. Really, really good stuff. I mean, it looks like a really nice brand. Everything looks perfect and professional. But what's interesting is on this store, they have this extra section up here in the learn section, and we've got a blog. If we click into the blog here, these guys are posting constantly on different aspects of you know training your dog, different types of dogs, nine things that will surprise you about dash hounds. We got uh, what do doxies use their tails for? Uh, we've got dash hound back problems. So all of this different stuff. And you can see here how frequently they're actually posting. They post one article a day by the looks of things. You got the 25th, 24th, 23rd, and they're posting pretty much every day, sometimes two uh, per day. And we can scroll on down. They're just grinding this out on content. Now, if you're going ahead and doing this, obviously it's a really good way to build up traffic for free if you're doing the writing. And that is definitely an option. If you have an e-commerce store, a brand that you're really passionate about, you could probably do this. You could probably go out there and write one article per day. It's probably gonna take you two to three hours to write that article. And that's gonna save you money on ads and also build up a long-term traffic source that is probably a little bit more sustainable than Facebook ads. And with something like this, if you can include some of your products mixed in with your articles, you're going to be able to get really high margins because obviously your e-commerce products, you own 100% of the margin in that product. You're not promoting affiliate or running ads you can really make your money back fast. However, if you didn't want to write the content like these guys are right here, you could obviously just go and hire writers and take this. Maybe you take a proportion because you can really get a lot of articles for what you'd run in Facebook ads. Like if you're running a store right now that is doing, let's say $20,000 per month in e-commerce, that is a fairly low goal to set for an e-commerce brand. You might only be making 10% net on that. But if you're going ahead and doing 20,000, you're spending, let's say 6,000 on ads per month, turn off 2,000 of them ads and invest $2,000 in content. $2,000 in content, let's say on the very high end, you can get very high quality articles for $50. I generally pay $25 per article on my sites, but you could go ahead and pay $50 because we're being conservative here, right? That gets you 40 articles per month for two 
thousand dollars over time these articles will start to rank in google and bring in traffic and two thousand dollars again isn't a lot and you could probably cut that off from some low performing ads and again you could do it with a thousand even five hundred dollars you're getting 10 posts per month if you're going at a 25 dollar range that's 80 posts per month for two thousand dollars and that's nothing in facebook ads you know when you're profitable with facebook ads you'd spend two thousand dollars a day very easily but you invest in this you're building up something longer term so let's take a look at some numbers here uh we'll pop up our similar web stats you can see here they're doing about three hundred thousand down to 200 and they're, they're fluctuating but at 250,000 visitors per month in the site uh it's mainly all united states and if we come in here to traffic and engagement and scroll down we can see that their traffic sources right here they get about 44 percent from search 23 percent direct and then 26 percent from social you can see here that in search it's 85 percent organic so pretty much half of their traffic is coming from organic search right there social they're definitely doing a little bit of facebook as well they're still running ads but what interests me is mainly that organic traffic but they've got a much more split between traffic sources it's not just facebook ads and they're heavily reliant on that where we know that accounts can get shut down like that and your you know your business is gone right obviously same can happen with google update but the more diversified you are the better so let's go ahead and jump into uber suggest right here it's neil patel's tool and we can take a look at the trajectory so these guys i'm not sure exactly when they started their brand so i pulled it up in sem rush here it looks like these guys actually started their brand only in february of 2020 so they probably started this right as the pandemic hit and have been building it since but you can see the explosive growth that they've got uh sem rush is is literally suggesting that they're getting 917,000 visitors per month in organic traffic and then paid traffic they're only doing like 10,000 visitors per month whereas at the start they focused heavily on paid traffic right so at the start they did that because with paid traffic you can just instantly turn you know ads into money and you can just turn that on whereas the organic game they played it and eventually they just got this super hockey stick growth right here and you can see they're ranking top three for 5100 keywords which is insane let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that they're actually ranking for right here if we pop them into uber suggest again uber suggests saying 475,000 visits per month and similar web is saying like 300,000. so it could be anywhere in that range i'd say it's probably you know kind of somewhere in like 500 to 700,000. if we scroll down though we can see their top seo pages so these are the pages that get them the most traffic per month right here we've got husky corgi mix facts it's just a page or on facts about that type of breed of dog and it's getting an estimated 40,000 visitors per month of that one single page here we've got pitbull lab mix facts husky chihuahua mix pug husky mix boxer so they've definitely found a type of article that works really well at the start they were probably publishing lots of different stuff in different like kind of categories and article types however now they're going out there and they're focusing on this because it works well for them let's look even further and deeper into this it looks like you know pretty much out of their top 10 articles nine of them i think are this dog breed mix fact and let's take a look at what one of these looks like and let's see if it links back to any products on their website i'm pretty sure it should do so let's go ahead and click into this pulls us over to alpha paw dog breeds corgi husky mix so they got a really nice little blog here laid out very nicely table of contents and all that fun stuff if we scroll on down it's a fairly detailed article there's definitely lots of facts and stuff down here i'm just interested to see are they linking out to anything else or possibly are they running ads on this we can check in a second i've got ad blocker on um but you can see here they're obviously referencing some stuff uh, as well but it looks like they don't actually have anything specifically in the article linking to a product page i think that's definitely something that they could do to obviously drive more traffic to product pages but we do see at the bottom of every blog article here they have their products and they've also got similar articles so guys editor james here and it actually turns out when i was looking through the site after they do do a lot of promotion in their articles that are more recent and obviously just articles that make sense to promote items this one here nine things you'll be surprised to learn about dash hounds we can see that pretty much instantly there's an ad for their paw ramp which is one of their main products on the store and if we keep continuing to scroll on down at the bottom of the article you see this little like insert here where they've got deals and stuff like that they've got the flash seal icon here you know the scarcity there of products that they're recommending so they are definitely recommending products in their more recent articles let's scroll on down here and click on something else so let's take a look at signs your dog is hungry and see if that has anything so straight away in here they're obviously recommending their dog food right there 
and we look at the article looks pretty good and then they've got the power ramp down here at the bottom so they definitely are going ahead and recommending products in their article but let's go ahead and copy this into a private browser so that we can see if they're running ads on it i doubt they are i think ads would kind of taint this type of e-commerce store and brand i don't think there's any need for them to run uh, ads on this their main you know you're driving people to their e-commerce store so yeah it looks like there's really no ads on here which is makes a lot of sense obviously and obviously when people hit these articles they can also see up here shop and learn and people will be redirected to the store that way so you can see here that they're ranking like really easily for all of these keywords i actually want to just do a search myself here so let's pull up corgi husky mix right here and then let's just do facts and see what that pulls up so it definitely pulls up alpha paw they're definitely coming up top here in the snippet which is obviously pulling them in a lot of traffic so it might be the way they're formatting their articles which is allowing them to get featured snippets and you know appear at the top if we scroll on down corgi husky mix it seems like there is a lot of other you know websites writing about similar things obviously i think their title is just really simple and unclickable uh we got top 11 interesting facts here corgi husky makes a complete guide so there's definitely other people writing about it right so it's pretty amazing that they've been able to rank so easily for all of these different breeds so that's pretty much it for this video i thought i'd throw this one together i seen this store i'm not actually sure how i came across it uh but then i seen what they were doing with their articles combined with e-commerce i thought it was worth sharing here on the channel because you know tons of you guys i know run e-commerce brands and are probably not doing any sort of content marketing for your brand and i think this is a really really cool way to do it i would definitely be trying to integrate some more products in the articles that could also maybe affect the seo if you do that so maybe that's why they're not but i thought this was a genius strategy as you can see it's a long-term play these guys started in february 2020 so i mean it's only just over a year it's not really that long but they've just exploded in the last sort of three months or so in terms of traffic when stuff just started ranking for them and i'm sure the revenue has also exploded alongside that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this type of strategy and let me know in the comments if you're doing any of this type of marketing with your brand. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm trying to hit 150 likes on this video. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.